this is going to be a very, 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 very short video. This is just a Camden haul. So what I bought from London the other day when I went with Deck, we went for a gig and I was very sad because I managed to lose part of my day's piercing. Dropped it on the floor, and obviously it's pitch black. Lots of people shoving around because it was a metal gig. There was, there was no way I was getting it back, so. Anyway. I didn't exactly get this in London, but I got this for the trip. And this is just a cherry blossom. It says it's a cherry blossom flavored soda drink, but then it has also got a percentage. So sugar percent. So I'm wondering whether it's something like kombucha, because it did have a very cidery, like a floral cider taste to it. But either way, I've drunk it now and it's a cute can to go on my display in my lounge. I picked up a couple of business cards as well, just because I can always afford everything I see and just buying everything I saw. So one of the business cards I bought up was the Camden Supernova and they were doing a lot of hand-drawn cards for, for Rebels and essentially very, very like punk, feminist, uh, anti-sexism, anti-fascism um, type drawings and cards and art pieces and then we also popped by Sven Forkbeard, which was one of the first Viking King of England, and they sold beard oil products. And I'm telling you now, we were there for about five, 10 minutes while Dex smelled every single beard oil there. And the guy who was helping us on the store inside the open markets was very, very nice. Very French, but also very, very nice. The first purchase I got in Camden was the candies and sadly this isn't actually candies this is candies cosmetics and their their website is iwantcandies.com and the reason we bought one of these you'll see how excited i got why i got so excited is it's a little soap and it's hemp and cedar wood. And honestly, it smells like refreshers. It really does. Um, and it's all cruelty free, uh, vegan, made in the UK. And the lovely lady that was helping us was saying that she hand swirls these. So she makes them in a loaf tin, makes all of these swirlies, and then leaves them for three, four months to cure. So can you imagine spending so much time on this and then having to wait three or four months to see if you've actually even made the pattern that you wanted? And she was saying that she uses this one quite a lot for her face as well because it's got coconut oil in it, which is very, very good for you. Oh, I just want to smell it for forever. Yeah. Because it's hemp, she said she tried to make the kind of leaf pattern running through it. But that was the best purchase of the day, I will tell you that. Next, I'm pretty sure, is where I got the red velvet latte. And I, I want to say it was Nina and Nama. Or Nina and Nama. I'll put the photo there and then the logo everything will be in the description because that red velvet latte was the best thing i ever had not sure if it had coffee in it but it definitely had the placebo effect of having coffee it was essentially like a very very light frothy version of a hot chocolate it wasn't very rich it was nice and like milky and velvety if you wouldn't mind me saying for food i got i can't 
can't remember the name of the burger bar, but it was just as you go left into the entrance of the Camden Market, where all the food stores are, and it goes off into like a little V. And they had an entirely vegan plant-based burger bar. And they had quite a few different options. And I ended up going for the seitan meat one because that stuff is amazing. And it was, it was neon cornbread. It was bright yellow cornbread. Obviously I'll put a little video here. It didn't last very long, I'll tell you that. After that, we trotted over to the Moomin store. And what did I get? I got something. And honestly, just stepping in there. Moomin's everywhere. Moomin's every single place. And my mum is obsessed with Moomin's. And I had to get her something. Like even the bag. Mm, and the sticker. So cute. And I picked her up. Baby Moomin! Mm. And it's all officially licensed and everything. Look at this little rainbow logo matched together. I'm pretty annoyed I didn't get myself one, but I know my mom's gonna love him and he's probably just gonna fit on her shelf or hang on her keys. Last not least, Went to Rocket. Rocket is definitely one of my favorite vintage shops, purely because they always have hella cute stuff, hella pastel stuff, and it's vintage and normally recycled as well. And they do a lot of upcycling. And I picked up, okay. Hold your breath. We have a pastel tie dye with pastel purple, pastel green, and pastel blue. And what is this? 100% of profits from the sale of this garment will be donated to AKT, AKT, a charity supporting homeless LGBT youth. So this is one of their upcycled t-shirts. So they hand dye these, like tie dye these. And then the reason I had to get it, it's got a little rainbow. Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. It was quite funny because as I was wandering around the store with this, like literally as soon as we walked in the door, I found the tie dye section and I was like, what is, what is this? And then I saw that the profits went to LGBT charity and I was like, I don't need to eat this month. I need this t-shirt. <laughs> and I was clutching it like this. And one of the ladies that worked there came over, running over to me and she was like, just gotta say, I love your hair. I love your look, you're very colorful. And I just wanted to let you know that we have rainbow t-shirts for LGBT and Pride Month. And I think you'd really like one. And I turned around and I had one in my hands already. But she definitely said to get this one because the tie dye one is a hell of a lot cooler than just the plain colored ones. I'm not sure if they have these online, but I would definitely check it out. I can find a website. It's just rocket.co.uk forward slash rocket originals and then their Instagram is rocket originals. So they should have more of these online, I'm assuming. But definitely pick one of these up because the money goes to charity as well. But that was all. That's all I have to tell you with my little purple nose. I hope you have a lovely day and happy shopping. Yeah.